clusters command is a great way to review the differences between related points. For example, changes between design and as-built points, observe changes during deformation monitoring studies, and other applications. We've enhanced the clusters command with a new option to draw the error vectors for each cluster. I'm going to define a set of 2D clusters with a one-foot search radius for the points around this house. My original points are in the 500 range, and I'm going to set a 0.2 foot pass-fail tolerance for each cluster. As you can see, four of these clusters pass the horizontal tolerance, but two of them do not, because their horizontal distance is larger than the 0.2 foot tolerance we assigned earlier. After defining your clusters and viewing the cluster's report, a new prompt will appear asking if you'd like to draw the vectors. No will end the command as before, and yes will display a new dialog which allows you to customize and draw the error vectors. They can be drawn in 2D or 3D, and polar or orthogonal where the vector will be broken up into its separate X, Y, and Z components. The vectors can be drawn onto separate layers and with different colors depending on whether they met or exceeded the pass-fail tolerance. An exaggeration factor can also be specified to the make the vectors larger and much more clearly visible. As you can see, this gives a really clear presentation of the deltas and at a glance we can see where the largest errors were.